Welcome back. In this video, we are going to use Affinity Photo to start creating a little bit more complex mockups for your designs. So the best way to do it is to make your designs in Affinity Designer, save them, and then you can open them up in Affinity Photo. Now the photos that I'm using for this tutorial, they're all from places like Unsplash. So they're free photos that can be used for personal projects as well as commercial. I will make sure to leave some links below if you're interested in those, but you can also use your own photos. I would recommend if you are going to take photos for mockups that you do it with items that are white because it's just the easiest to work with when you are creating mockups. So like a white shirt, or an empty frame that has like a white piece of paper in it. So I have already opened all the photos that I want to use today, as well as the designs. The first way of doing the mock-up is to use your pen tool. So I'm going to zoom in using the command and plus, and then holding down the space bar, that handle up here, and you can move your photo around. Start at this bottom point and then click, just click where you, to the best that you can on these spots. You can always go back and change these. If you're wondering how to get a curve, you can either click on your mouse and then pull in a direction or Once you're done, like this is already clicked, you can go back and adjust it. For this one, see it pops out. I don't want it to do that. So I'm just going to click on this last note again. And it kind of resets it. So just do the best that you can as closely to the edge of the shirt as possible. It does not have to be perfect and you can always go back and adjust it as needed. And then all you have to do once you are down kind of to like this last straight line, roll over that first point that you made and close your shape. So now you can zoom back out hitting command and the minus sign or command zero. Just so I can visualize my space a little bit better, you will see over here in your layers panel, it's showing us curve. That is the shape that you just made with the pen tool. And if you look up at the top, it automatically has a black stroke, select none, and I'm just going to fill this with black so I can visualize it a little bit better. Once you grab the design that I would like for this. So with it selected, Command C to copy, go back to your document, Command Paste. You could also have gone up to Edit, Copy, and then Edit Paste. I'm going to scale this down. Okay, so now it is the size that I would like. And just like in Affinity Designer, I'm going over to the Layers panel and I am dropping this below. You'll see it has filled the shape that we created with the Pen Tool. Select what says Curve and change that to Multiply. And you'll see now you kind of get an idea of what your design would look like as a shirt. In this case, I think it is a little too strong and it doesn't look 100% natural, so I'm going to change that opacity. So I like this at the lower opacity. Um, it shows kind of like the buttons a little bit better and the details in the shirt. And being that the shirt was sheer, it definitely is giving that appearance now. So it looks more natural in the way that it should. So it's a great way to mock up any patterns that you have created. So the next thing, if you wanted to mock up yet again, another pattern as say wallpaper, you can use that same method. This one's going to be super easy because it's pretty much straight lines using the pen tool. I'm just going to quickly create the shape of this wall. And I want to see what a wallpaper would look like as an accent to this room. 
there you go. It took about 10 seconds, maybe. Um, find the pattern that you would like to use. Command C to copy. Command V to paste. I'm going to zoom out because this is a little large. And then scale this image down until it fits the wall. Okay. So I want kind of the scale to be about like this. So once again, I'm going to drop it in. You can see it looks super fake when you have not changed that shape to multiply. The color obviously changed quite a bit and I don't like how dark that is looking, although the room is dark, so it may actually would look like that. Um, I'm going to go into the adjustment I'm going into curve and then I'm just going to pull up clicking the center and pull up towards the top left so now you have created a very easy mock-up for wallpapers if you want to save this kind of as a template you can always go in and delete that background but just save the file so that you can easily get in and replace that background to something else and the very last one, this is going to take a little bit more work, is a frame. So if you watched the last mock-up video that was in Affinity Designer, you may remember I mentioned you were going to want forward-facing kind of flat images. As you can see, this frame is at an angle. So I'm going to take the pen tool, just like the other ones, click in the four corners of this frame, and then grab the photo that you would like to use, Command C, Command V. And just like the other ones, place it below and multiply. So overall, it doesn't look bad. I mean, that looks fine. You could totally use that. But what I want to do is go over to the left toolbar, select the next to bottom tool and select, you can use the perspective tool. Kind of just pulling this bottom out a little bit so that it kind of matches that shape of the frame kind of uh, leaning out. And when you're happy with it, you can hit apply. So this is what it looked like before. You can see how it very much looks like it is forward facing and not at that angle. And this is how it matches the frame. It's a very simple way of making your mock-up look even more realistic when you kind of change the perspective to match your image. I hope you found this tutorial useful. And as always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thanks guys.